Hey Vsauce, Michael here, and today, <laughs> uh, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This video is going to be resume reviews, so if you don't know what that means, it means you, the viewers, send me your resumes and I review them. So you only have like four seconds. The research has shown you get about four or five seconds of HR time, CTO time for them to look at your resume. So it's your job to make sure you have everything that they need within like one click, right? Because the more clicks that they have to make, or more connections that they have to make to find something that they want to know about you, then the, the lesser chance you have of being hired. Side note, a company called Wondershare PDF hit me up and they're like, hey, can you use our software to edit these PDFs and do the video? And I was like, yeah, sure. Sounds like a good idea. So if you're interested in the software that I'm using, links for the software down in the description below. Another thing, if you're interested, I have my own resume and cover letter at my website at grindrill.com. I'll put the link for that down in the description. So if you don't have one or you just want a template to look at, you can check those out. They help support the channel. Actually, just recently, someone got a job at Amazon making 46 bucks an hour and they're paying his entire summer housing and then he gets a job after that. And it's really exciting for me to see that you guys are landing the jobs and that these are working. And so if you get one and they help you out, I would be honored if you like left a review or shoot me an email about what I can improve. And I'm just really excited and happy that they're getting your foot in the door. So you can check those out if you want and uh, let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'm about to go hit the gym. I just quit my rock climbing gym to go get a different gym. I just do this every year to mix things up, but I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna check out these resumes. Oh, by the way, if any of you guys are in Salt Lake City and you're looking for a lifting buddy, I'm looking for a lifting buddy if you wanna come hit up this Vasa, just let me know. Hope you guys are getting your workouts in, getting what you need to done today. Um, this new gym's like a playground, it's like a theme park. They got like swimming and they got basketball and like right next to it is like a trampoline park. So obviously the kid and me got this GoPro ready to do flips on the trampoline park at some point. <laughs> I'm just gonna open up a video one day just doing back flips. All right, so I just got back from the gym a little bit ago. It was like a new gym and you know, like you, you use like new equipment and like it's the same thing that you've always been doing and it feels like 10 times harder because it's new equipment. I don't know. It was a good session. I feel like jello. Let me give you a quick little bullet pointed of like what I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to be looking for summaries, talking about, you know, you in a nutshell related to this profession. We're going to be looking at projects, making sure you have links to those projects for the code and hosted if you can get it. We're gonna be looking for your skill sets, right? We need your skill sets to be organized, not just like a list of skills without any organization of like front end, back end, project management, miscellaneous. They need to be categorized and they need to be related to the job. And what I mean by that is I've seen some people kind of like add soft skills to the resume and that's really hard to prove. Um, they'd have to like call somebody up and be like, well, did he actually do this? Or like, it's all kind of like opinion based soft skills, not something that you could write on paper right now as like, if they quizzed you. Another thing we'll be looking for is like work history and not just like what you did as like in like, in like the past tense of like I did this thing. Then you need to tell more than that like what you did and what happened because you did that thing and how it improved the company. So what you did and the benefit of that thing and how it improved. Anyways, let's jump into the first one here. All right, so first up we got Sadat here. Let's go ahead and look. What I'm looking for first thing is your skills. Where are your skills? I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. All right, additional skills. So where are your main skills if you have additional skills? It, it doesn't look like you have a list of like main skills here. So these are your main skills and you're calling them additional skills, um, which means they'd be kind of unrelated to the job. So I wouldn't do that. Let's take a look at them. We have leadership, let a team of five using Scrum. Uh, that's kind of soft skills. You could talk about that in your resume. So I'm gonna remove that. Extra, provided drinking water to underprivileged schools through theater shows. Maybe if you were working for like a nonprofit or applying to a nonprofit, that'd be good to indicate here. Otherwise, I would remove that and not really talk so much about that, which leaves us with your main set of skills, highly unorganized. We have backend, learning APIs, we have XAMPP. I'm pretty sure there's only one P in there. We have MongoDB, JSP, jQuery Bootstrap. So you need to organize these out. You need to break these into three different columns of front end, back end, frameworks maybe if you want. Scroll back up to the top for a second. Professional experience, web developer intern, spearheaded API integration. Okay, did this actually get completed? What was the benefit here? What actually happened? You, if you spearheaded the API integration, did did you, like what happened? Did this make things easier? Did this get you more square payments? Like what, what happened? What was the result of you doing this? Analyzed sister company and gave recommendations to improve site efficiency and design. The result, what happened here? Develop websites with constant iterations for clients to, and let's see. We have two different websites, that's good. Responsible for daily development maintenance of more than 20 websites. So if you have more than 20 websites and you're only giving me access to two here, increase traffic on multiple sites. 
So there's an error there. This needs to be multiple sites by roughly 60% by using Google SEO. Education, master's is good, graduated good, don't have any GPA, that looks good. Projects, typing game. So you have a link for the typing game. You don't have a link for real-time polling app. You're gonna need you're gonna need one of these here, like there. Not the same one. And then taskless web app. A web app where a user can enter tasks and delete them. Okay, so this sounds like a really fancy to-do app. And so again, we would copy this and you need another link there that I can click on to see what this is. Um, we need a summary here. Go ahead and add a summary of yourself. Like, what are you passionate about? Uh, are you a recent graduate? What do you wanna do in a few years? So add that maybe right there and then you got your address and phone number. LinkedIn, GitHub, portfolio, email ID. Just email, I mean, that'd be all right. So we got all this information. What I would do is just convert these into links rather than have the link here on the side. Just have LinkedIn, GitHub, portfolio, email. But I think what would look better, to be honest, is if you had LinkedIn. Oh, okay, so they're attached, all right, whatever. And then we'd have a portfolio up here. And then if you wanted, um, put your email over there. So this is how I would, I would clear some space and then maybe add your last name back again, add some color here. Looks very professional. What, what I would also do would be center your name here if you're gonna go this route and then have a summary. Thanks for sending it in. You just need to you know, organize the location of them. So additional skills at the top and just call them skills and then professional experience and then projects and then education all the way down at the bottom. And then I think you'll be all right, man. Thanks for sending it in. This is good stuff. All right, next up we got Michael. First off, hit him with that purple pink neon color definitely got to catch their attention with that one um, not sure what's going on with that or if it's like totally on purpose or not maybe you could make that blue black and blue and white usually go pretty good we got skill section here front center proficient in comfortable with all right you don't want to rate yourself don't rate yourself when you're applying to jobs you want to they can rate you after they interview you don't go ahead and just shoot yourself in the foot and be like well I'm comfortable with don't don't do that this is ambiguous we don't want that um, comfortable with these IDEs. Unfortunately, you don't really get to count IDEs as a skill. They're more like, hey, we use this at work, so uh, get learning. Doesn't matter if you're comfortable with it or not. So let's look at your experience here. We got Southwestern Illinois College, HTML5. Is this so, what's going on here? Is this is this ongoing? What's the dates here? Are you paid to do this? Or is this a volunteer? This would be something that you talk about like in your cover letter. Like, I have previous history in teaching students how to code with Java and HTML5. Do you have any outcomes on this? Like. Do you have any students that you've helped that have gotten jobs? All of the students that I've had that have completed the curriculum that I give have jobs now. And so I always reference that. I'm like, I've done this, this person's got a job, I've been like their reference, They've like companies have called me as their reference, and I'm like, yep, yep, good student, yep, good good worker, you know, um, you know, all that stuff. Do you have any of that that you can reference here as a tutor? Because I do this too. Web design, built mobile responsive websites with bootstrap framework, here's some work I have done. Don't type this. Don't use first person in your resume. And then we have a second page somehow. Not sure why this jumps onto a second page here, but education, associates in web development. Did you finish this? It looks like you finished this. 3.8 GPA, self-taught disciplines from EDX, Android app development, entrepreneurship, and online marketing. Yet you don't mention any of these in your skill set here, really. HTML5, CSS3, Photoshop, Illustrator. So we got a lot of design type stuff here. So you talked about entrepreneurship. If you're gonna talk about entrepreneurship, you might wanna include like project management, customer relations, things like that, pricing, sales, um, customer satisfaction, outcomes, analytics. And speaking of analytics, you also mentioned down here below that you have uh, online marketing, but you don't have anything here with online marketing. What are you doing? Are you using Facebook? Like, did you do Facebook Blueprint? Have you run that yet? Are you approved? Twitter ads, Instagram ads, do you, can you do video content online? Like, are you good at copy? Um, because if you just put I'm good at SEO, essentially what you're saying is I'm good at writing good copy that people read and engage with, got call to actions, got et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of psychology behind that, but you haven't mentioned anything about online marketing in your set of skills, which could be, for a small company, really useful if they need kind of like a jack of all trades, which is what you got going here. Okay, we also need a LinkedIn. I don't see a LinkedIn anywhere, so I'm gonna add a text here. We need a LinkedIn, and then we don't have a GitHub. So I'm gonna, we're gonna have to add some text for some GitHub here. You don't have a personal summary, so you could either add that here in small text. All right, passionate about learning and teaching, looking for a position in software development. And then you have this blank space over here. Maybe you could instead you know, move your LinkedIn over here as an icon and then get your GitHub over here as an icon. And then if you have a personal website, that would, that would kind of fill that gap in there. And then also you need to drag your education up 
it's fairly simple. You just have to add a lot more information, Michael. So thanks for sending it in. I appreciate you. Next up, we got Shane here, Shane G, 457 at Gmail. Address, LinkedIn. You don't have a summary. It'd be cool if you had a summary. You have a technological summary. Um, we, we could just call this skills. Personal summary, a firm foundation and object oriented. You have bullet points for a personal summary. Ravenous appetite. Uh, very descriptive stuff here. Keen eye for aesthetic and logical design. Okay, that's kind of vague. All right, so let me show you how to do this here. Professional experiences, web development, and then you have a super large gap here. So everything would need to be adjusted up. I mean, you put advanced here, but this might just be expected depending on the job. Professional experiences, professional experience, serverless blog, front end, cool. And I can click on it, got the link good, December, October. Are these like actual professional experience applications? Like, did you get paid for these? Were these a job? Were these like an internship app? If it's not paid, it's you just gotta put that under personal projects. Or they're gonna figure it out when they look at it. They're gonna be like, well, what company was using this? Or what did you do this for? Because I don't see any companies here that you did this for. So I just made sure to open the original resume to make sure that I didn't like delete anything. And, and there wasn't anything there. So you have information technology down here and this was like your actual job. And then all of these were personal projects. Just take all this information technology stuff and put it under professional experience. And then below that have personal projects, which you would then have all of these applications. I don't know, they're, they're gonna ask you about that. They're gonna be like, well, you know, what, what company is these for? Cause you're not including that, so. Anyways, thanks for sending it in, Shane. There's some changes you should make. A couple typos, no big deal there. This is organized, real good. Personal summary, bump that up. And then, and then I, think you'll be, I think you'll be good to go. All right guys, so let me know what you think using this uh, PDF element six here. I think it's actually pretty nice. It's better than me just like using colors and like dragging and dropping. I, I think I actually like this better because it ends up just looking like a, a rainbow mess. Again, if you need resume templates or cover letter templates, something to look at, I base all of these reviews that I do off of my resume um, because you know, it, it gets people's jobs and that's just, it supports the channel. We have a Discord if you wanna talk to me. We just crossed 7,000 people in Discord. That's insane. I just made it for like four people to beta test my video game, but it's growing. So if you wanna ask me questions or any of the other people that you've seen in my videos, they're always in Discord. That's where we meet, that's where we talk. That's, it's a, it's a pretty good community we got going there. Shoot me an email, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate all you guys getting close to 50K. It's gonna be good. And I'll see you in the next one.